Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be talking about the Extreme PBR Materials add-on for Blender, which has now been upgraded from having 800 materials all the way up to 1,000, you little ripper. So, once you've purchased it through the Blender market, you download all the zip files. Now, be aware it's about 10 gig. We go up to Edit, Preferences, and we click Install. We find the original file, which is called Extreme PBR 2 82 3.3 zip, Double click on that and install the add-on. Once it's come up, we can put the tick box next to it, expand it, and now we can install it. So from here, we put it to where we've downloaded the file. Then the second is where we're gonna install the file, uh, sorry, unzip all the files. And then also we're just gonna create a user library as well, just in case we create our own materials. Install, and then all this will be filled out automatically for you. And now you have uh, access to the PBR combo material. So from here, I'm gonna press N to bring up the side panel tab and we've already got it up. Now I've just got three simple meshes. So if I press tab, we can see all the mesh that I've kind of just expanded on it. Let's just check out the asphalt one. So I'm gonna increase the map kit and we've only got the diffuse material. So let's just start off. Let's go add new material and to make life easier, I'm just going to add it to all these ones as well. So let's just come into here and we'll click on asphalt asphalt so that way when i change one they change all um this is just diffuse very bland nothing really but if we start adding roughness metal normal specular we can see that we've got this and it's starting to look a little bit better but we can also add the displacement on and this is why i gave it all that extra geometry so we can see it does it looks it looks schmick let's go up here let's change to a different material maybe metal and something that's a little bit worn out. I don't know what that is, a galvanized steel. Sure, let's replace and have a look. What does that look like? Now that looks, wow. That looks amazing. So obviously this one's very flat because it's steel, but that is gorgeous, that one. Let's go have, check out one more. Mm, wood O2, I think this is part of the new set. Let's check that out. And what I'm doing is I'm replacing all the materials that are under galvanized steel. So the reason why I'm pressing this is because it will replace all that. So rather than clicking add new and adding a second layer, I'm just replacing everything. So that doesn't look too bad. That looks quite nice in the flat plane. It's a little bit womp, uh, wonky, which is pretty good. I'm fairly chuffed with that. So that looks gorgeous. Let's come in and we'll change it to one more maybe a paper, sure. Let's refresh that. And then that kind of looks like, yeah, old, um, almost like handmade paper. Yeah, wow, that's cool. We can also go into edit mode. So if I go tab into edit mode and then we can start changing the parameters. So if I go maybe five, we can see that that has now increased the size of the paper. Maybe having paper is a bad example. Let's go bricks, 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 bricks. Do we have bricks? There we go. And this first one looks quite nice. So I'm just gonna replace the shader on all of them. And then we can see that we've zoomed in on that one, which is no good. So let's go the other way. And now let's go to point one. It's because we've refreshed the material. So if I were to replace this material, that UV scale has been changed back to normal. So we can see our bricks and obviously we can change our scales. Let me just go back into object mode. Whoops, now I've got to do it in edit mode. And then if I go five, we can see it zooms in. If I go point one, we can see that we've created this more of a repeating texture. So let's go tab, we'll put that back to one. And then obviously we can come down here and change some of the settings. So this is kind of all part of that default PBR material that we're using, but rather than going into the shader, all our information is here. So we can change maybe specul specularity, give it a little bit more shine. I don't want shine, um, hue and saturation. Let's bring that all the way down. And we can see we're going black and white. Bring that back up to one or even there, sure. And then we can go through and change the hue. So we've got different colored bricks. Um, so I really use this add-on quite a bit. If you check out my live streams, I'm constantly using this add-on. Um, it just takes out a lot of time and increases my workflow because I don't have to constantly be creating materials when I've just got everything ready here. So that's just fantastic for me. So this is a very brief overview. Um, there is one more thing that we can do as well. So I just select this material and I'm gonna remove this material. And if I come into back into the library and select water, here we go. I can go add new, 
and we have water there, but it's not showing up too well. So let me just kind of move that underneath and look at that water. Look at that water. It's a very beautiful texture. And if we kind of scrub through the timeline, you can see that the water's moving around. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. <laughs> So please make sure you go check out Extreme PBR Evo with a thousand materials add on for Blender. There is a link in the description. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Keeps up to date with my content. And until next time.